This is Peter Flanamente with your weekly WIT recap for Wednesday, April 10th, 2019. The Student Government Association Senate passed its official budget for the 2019-2020 school year at its Monday night meeting. The budget passage was slightly out of the ordinary as many Senate members motioned to vote on the budget the minute it was introduced. Although the budget passage was quick, this SGA meeting was particularly special for SGA President Aubrey Singleton since it was the last official meeting as SGA President. Singleton's tenure as SGA president has seen quite a few ups and downs. His way of addressing the copay controversy at the Wellness Center was met with heavy criticism last semester by both SGA senators and students alike. However, his leadership, compassion, and outreach helped unite students during the protest last week and has been seen as a positive role model for many incoming Rowan students. Scouts were bared and hair rained to the ground in the Student Center pit last Saturday as Rowan held its annual St. Baldrick's Day fundraiser. The event raises money and awareness for the fight against pediatric cancer and of course shaves a lot of heads. Friends and family gathered in the pit and tried to reach $40,000 goal. Participants agreed to have their heads shaved and donations could be given in their name. With the end of the lacrosse season looming, Rowan is focusing on the New Jersey Athletic Conference and closing out strong. Hard work, grit, and determination have paid off for the brown and gold so far, standing at 7-4 and 2-0 in the conference. The Profs continue their stretch of six straight NJAC games this Saturday, traveling to Mawa, New Jersey, to see Ramapo College for the first time this year. They beat Ramapo 21-3 last season. Finally, let's get a check of your weekend weather. Do you like clouds? Because we'll have plenty of it this weekend. Thursday will feature mostly cloudy skies with breaks of sun. Temperatures will be cool in the mid-50s. Friday will stay cloudy with breaks of sun, and there could be some rain at night. Temperatures will be in the upper 60s. Now, rain will be here overnight Friday into Saturday morning, but it should exit by Saturday afternoon. Clouds stay in place throughout the day, and temperatures will be mild in the 70s. Sunday stays cloudy with breaks of sun, and there could be some more rain during the afternoon and evening. Temperatures will drop a little bit to the mid-60s. And that'll do it for this week's edition of the Weekly Wit Recap. For more news anytime, be sure to visit thewitonline.com. I hope to catch you back here next week.